So in this video, what I'm going to look at now is another pair of Puma Disc. Uh, this is a Puma Disc Exceed. Now I'm not exactly sure on what year these were released. Um, they look to me to be part of like the second wave of Puma Disc, so not the original original launch. Um, these were probably the the range that followed in a, in a year or two after. Um, interesting pair. This is um, a dead stock pair. Um, I got these a few years ago now on eBay from a seller in the USA. Um, I don't remember them. I never saw them at the time. In all honesty, probably not my favourite um, in terms of look. Um, but an interesting pair all the same. These are um, fresh. Well, as fresh as that box looks. It looks like it's been in storage for a long time. Um, but they've never been worn, so they still have any original tags, uh, that sort of thing. Um, so I'll just open it up, just to give you a look at the shoes. Now, maybe I'm being a little bit unkind to them, um, probably of the early to mid 90s. They probably don't look too bad as a shoe, but, um, and again, the white plastic here is yellowed slightly, which obviously it does with age. Uh, there's a few marks on these as well, slight marks, I think just by storage really, but everything else, you know, untouched as they were in the box. So I don't know the full history of the shoe in terms of where they've been to be dead stock. And also, I don't really know, as I said, the history of what year they were released. Um, but it's nice to see them, you know, original, still with some of these um, like one year guarantee there. Obviously that's well out of date now, but um, interesting to still see these tags. Um, I do, I've had quite a lot of Puma discs from you, but I don't remember these from the time. Probably just ripped it off, wore the shoe, as, as most people do. Um, but again, not not too bad a shoe. Um, a low profile like some of the original Puma discs were. Um, obviously the Blaze took it the step a little bit higher and a bit more of a chunkier shoe. Um, this one's a slightly more low profile. Um, original this design, as you can see there with a the push button, this is kind of a newer design compared to the original, original Puma disc, uh, where it just had Puma, they've got this sort of um, shape around it, sort of lozenge shape, um, which Puma used, I believe around the mid 90s, early to mid 90s. Um, but yeah, it's not, not a bad shoe, interesting to see, and I've never seen any out in the wild, anyone wearing them, I mean, you don't see many anywhere, well, I don't. Um, only the newer versions of Puma Disc. So yeah, it was interesting to um, to pick up this pair. Um, I bought them, they're in my size as well, but I had no intention of wearing them. I just thought these were really unique as they were. Obviously there's only one of them has a tag on it. So this, yeah, um, hasn't had a tag or I don't believe it's had a tag. Um, but yeah, I've decided to just keep the tag on this one, keep them in the box, keep them fresh, just for prosperity, really. Um, interesting pair, um, looking very good for the age, um, even though they have just been in storage. So yeah, so that was the Puma Disc XC. This is the white navy burgundy pair. I'm not sure of any other colours that they came in, whether this was it, um, how big this um, range was. Um, but if you know any more, Feel free to add a comment. If you've got any pictures, things like that, that'd be great to link to anything. But yeah, thanks for um, watching. Hope you enjoyed this. And yeah, hopefully it was something that you haven't seen before that was interesting. Thanks again.